Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today, I want to talk to you about my book club picks for the Dying to Read book club for 2018. I am so excited about these books. I've really tried to cram in some kind of popular books and some more obscure books, some classic horror. I've got a whole wonderful mishmash of scary books and I hope that you will join us for 2018. So January 2018, we are going to be reading See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt. Now this has had a lot of buzz over booktube, especially um, British booktube has seemed to really embrace this book. And this is a retelling of the Lizzie Borden story. And if you don't know, Lizzie Borden is this woman who was meant to have killed, potentially, her father and her stepmother. And in this book, we dive into her and where she is emotionally, psychologically during this whole event. In February, we're going to read The Book of You by Claire Kendall. And this is a stalker thriller. I'm so excited about this book. It's about a girl named Clarissa who is basically being stalked by her co-worker, Rafi. He actually will not leave her alone. He's everywhere that she looks, everywhere she goes, he's there. And she is finally um, on jury duty and she finds some like solace there because he's not around. But she starts to see her own story as the story on the witness stand. And she starts to see things going on in her life the same way that's what's going on in this trial. Um, I'm really excited for that one. In March, we're going to read The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Karen Slaughter is a gritty, gritty thriller writer. So I can't uh, tell you that this is going to be like sunshine and butterflies. This is going to be gritty, guys. The Good Daughter is about a family tragedy, essentially. Um, when they're young girls, Charlotte and Samantha lose their mother because her, their mother has been like brutally murdered. And it leaves their family in shambles. And then 28 years later, uh, all of the family secrets and this whole murder like come up again in their lives and they need to sort it through. Uh, in April, we're going to read Intensity by Dean Koontz. Now, I've only heard good things about Intensity. I'm so excited. This is about a girl who is kidnapped by a man who is a serial killer, essentially. He just kills people. And she's kidnapped. And she needs to find a way to get out. Uh, she also discovers who the next victim is going to be by this madman. And she knows that she's the only person who can save this person. And doesn't that sound great? In May, we're going to read The Silent Wife by A.S.A. A. Harrison. And this is about a marriage that is not quite exactly what it seems. In this book, Jody, I believe, kills her husband, Todd. And we kind of figure out why. It sounds like it could be a Gone Girl-esque kind of book. And I like that. So I'm excited to read that. In June, we're going to read The Ritual by Adam Neville. And this is a very popular horror book here on BookTube. And I'm so excited to read this. This is about four old university friends that have known each other a very long time. And they decide that they're going to go on this cool hike. They're hiking through the Scandinavian wilderness in the Arctic Circle. And things start to go really wrong. They start to see like witchy kinds of things, like, like witchy kinds of artifacts and stuff. They see this old abandoned house and just things start to go really, really wrong for this group of friends. Who survives? I want to find out. In July, we are going to read A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapina. This was a big one this past summer, actually. And in this, 
you find that this woman gets this phone call that she never wanted to get and she goes racing out the door only to wake up in the hospital and she doesn't know what happens but suddenly the police are investigating her um they want to know why she was out that night driving at insane speeds through this part of town that she shouldn't have been in uh yeah it sounds really fun in August, we're going to read Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. This is about a mother who finds that her son, Tommy, just vanishes and hasn't been seen since. And so she is trying to discover what happened to her son. Now, people are saying that he was up at Devil's Rock and Devil's Rock is meant to be cursed. And so was it cursed? And that's why Tommy has vanished. I'd like to know. In September, we're going to read Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate. So excited for this one. This is about a mother who gets a devastating call that her, her daughter has jumped off of the school roof and she's killed herself. And she just can't come to terms with the idea that her daughter killed herself. That is not something her daughter would do. It's totally out of character. So she starts to investigate what actually happened to her daughter that day. In October, we're going to read The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. Now, I just wanted to read a horror classic in October. It's October. It's Halloween time. We need to read something that's a classic. And I've never read The Exorcist before. And The Exorcist is about a mother and a daughter and the daughter might be possessed. In November, we're going to read Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Healy. And this is about Maud, who's this grandmother who, you know, she is missing some of her memory. She's not all there. She's, you know, really slowly losing her memory. And yet she can't stop thinking or talking about Elizabeth, who is an old, old friend of hers. And she's convinced that Elizabeth, Elizabeth is missing and something terribly wrong happened to her. She's in danger. She needs to save her dear friend. So this I'm excited about because I love that it's an older female protagonist and there's a little bit of historical fiction in here. There's uh, parts that harken back to World War II, so I'm very excited for that one. And then finally in December we are going to read Suffer the Children by Craig Louis. This is pretty gruesome. This is about Herod's syndrome in which um, children are just dying off globally. They are dying off and then they're coming back to life and parents are so thrilled that their children are back and then all of a sudden their children start to feed and the children are starting to feed on humans. So it sounds like a little bit of a zombie book. I haven't read any zombie horror books before and I thought this one would be a fun one. So those are the books that we are going to read over the course of 2018. Please, please join us. I will have a link in the description box below where you can join us over on Goodreads for the Dying to Read book club. Uh, let me know in the comments below which book you're most excited to read. I'd love to know and I'll see you later. Bye!